After months of battling COVID-19 here in the state, Florida's first correctional officer dies from the virus. But the tragedy doesn't end there for the family. The wife of the 65-year-old sergeant also dying from the coronavirus on the same day. News 13's Emily McLeod spoke with the daughter of the correctional officer and heard more about what the last two weeks have looked like for their family. Last week, Robert Wayne Rogers and his wife passed away from COVID-19 within an hour of each other. I just want people to know that this virus is real and it stole my parents. Rogers had worked for the FDC for nearly 30 years. His daughter, Tiffany Davis, says he tried to retire at 25 years, but missed his job so much he came out of retirement. Um, I remember the day he got promoted to sergeant. We have a, actually have a picture of it. He was so excited the day he got promoted to sergeant. Davis says she believes he contracted the virus from the Graceville work camp and then brought it home to her mother. So they were both pretty sick and went to the emergency room. Roger's daughter, who is a nurse, was shocked to find out that her parents weren't even fully aware if they had been tested for the coronavirus when they were first admitted to the hospital. I was like, are you sure? Um, and then we were after them, you know, to get, like, do you need to go to the doctor? Like, you need to go back to the emergency room. And they just kept saying, you know, know that the emergency room had told them that they just had a virus and, you know, that they would be okay. And Rogers and his wife's condition quickly worsened and went back to the hospital a second time. I really think that maybe if they could have got some, you know, earlier treatment, you know, maybe the outcome would have been different. Maybe, I don't know. The two were eventually placed on life support and then passed away. COVID doesn't care who you are, and it's strange how it chooses one person to just ravage, and then the next person, you know, they might test positive and not have any symptoms. The Graceville Work Camp is part of the Jackson Correctional Institute. As of Tuesday, the Florida Department of Corrections reports for Jackson CI no positive tests among inmates and 21 positive tests for staff. However, the prison reports only 11 inmates have tested negative, while their capacity is over 1,300. In Jackson County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong.